Machines outside. Machines? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, them cars. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, those cars are sweet. Where'd you get those cars from? Oh, mom. <laughs> so good to see you. So good to have you, son. Mm. And you're looking beautiful and more beautiful every day. Thank you, son. Thank you. Mama. <laughs> oh, excuse my manners, mama. Ah, sorry, baby. <laughs> okay, mom. Ah, okay, mom. This is Edna. <laughs> Yeah, she and I went to the same school. We graduated together, of course. And that's my mom here. Yeah. You're welcome, my daughter. Mom, what do you think? She's beautiful. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I told you! I told you my mom's gonna love you. Until my father sees you, he's gonna be really, really funny. He's gonna love you. He's gonna love you. Uh, mom, um, where's that? He's, he's fine. Mom, he's very fine. Mom. There's something wrong with that. So where is he? He's okay, he's in his room. Let me take you there. He's fine. The doctor said it was a partial stroke. What? Stroke? When did this happen? About a month now. Mom? And you didn't inform me? Son, we did not want to disturb you when we knew you were taking your finals in school. But it's okay. He's a lot better now. What do? He's not getting better. We, we need to get him to the hospital fast. I mean, he needs to see a doctor. He's getting better. Mom! Jared Code, my son. Yes, Daddy. Welcome back. Daddy, how are you? Better. Now that I have seen you. Around the prince of Amamu Kingdom. The kingdom needs you. And you too, Dad. And you too. The people of Amamu Kingdom welcome you back.
Well, having said all that I have said, I would want to introduce my daughters to you, who will be doing the bulk of the job in this business. On my left is Stephanie, and on my right is Winnie. Thank you. They are both graduates of Harvard University in America. Stephanie majored in accounting, while Winnie majored in economics. You are both welcome. Stephanie will be in charge of the foreign trade, while Winnie will be in charge of the internal trade. I will still remain chairman of the company so that I don't go six feet down before it's my time. Nothing will happen to you, sir. Um, ladies, I would like you to meet Mr. Dennis. Mr. Dennis is the general manager of the company. Mr. Elves is the accounts manager of the company. Cecilia is in charge of human resources. While Mr. Romain is the project manager. Good to meet all of you. Welcome. I would like all of you to afford them all the help and assistance that you will need to give them as you've also given to me. Oh, welcome. Well, uh, on behalf of my colleagues and I, I would like to welcome you once again and tell you that we look forward to working with you. It's a pleasure and you are welcome. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say, Stephanie? Oh, no, no, um, I don't. Um, I just want to say that my sister and I look forward to working with all of you, and we hope that we can learn a thing or two from your great expertise. Well, if everything goes good, officially they will resume work next week. Thank you very much. Oh, so finally I can go get a cigarette. Cinnamon sweet. Excuse me. Well, Mom, her name is Edna Ibukwe. She's from Izuku Village. Really? Huh? Izuku? Yeah. The nearby village? Yes, Mom. Wow. <laughs> Mom, she's a very nice girl. And beautiful, too. <laughs> I asked her to marry me. What? Yeah, I proposed. Well, son, I am pleased that you're thinking in that direction, son. Because your father and I have discussed it some time ago. But um, I actually called you for something else. Oh, what is it, Mom? You know you're the crown prince of Amangu Kingdom. And the entire village is um, looking up to you, especially the younger ones. Traditionally, it is not ideal for you to bring in a woman into your room whom you're not married to yet. The whole village sees it as strange and... Oh, Mom, please. Don't tell me the people of this village are still very old-fashioned. This is the 21st century, Mom. I mean, it's perfectly normal for any man and woman to live together, especially if she's his fiance. I mean, Edna and I practically live together when we're in America. Well, that's America where their culture is different. This is Amangu Kingdom, and we, we believe in tradition and culture a lot. No, Mom. I don't agree. <laughs> Mom, it's unbelievable. I mean, they should wake up, man. Yeah, they should step up. <laughs> that is America, not Nigeria, Stephanie. So what are you saying, Dad? All I am saying is that you have to take a little caution. 
You know, you don't have to be so uncouth. God, for goodness sake, Dad, I only asked for a cigarette. I didn't ask for the head of the general manager. You don't need to ask for the head of the manager for them to know the magnitude of your insult. For Christ's sake, where did you leave your manners? Did you forget them in America? Dad, please let this go. I'm sure she's realizing this. Oh, please speak for yourself, okay, and not for me. You know, I saw this coming, really, when you said we should move down to America because there's nothing I do that is ever good in your eyes. Stephanie, if you embarrass me, you embarrass oh. yourself. And if you embarrass yourself, you embarrass me. Oh, why is it that it's always Stephanie this, Stephanie that? Can't you just leave me alone for once? Where is he going to? Let her go. You both would end up arguing. That's the last thing I want to happen right now. At least let's enjoy this reunion, please. Deserve the best, Daddy. Because you I'll leave you to rest, Daddy. I'll go to the side. to the office in like a week now. And today is our meeting with the foreign investors. Oh. This is wrong. God, you're becoming obsessed with this thing. First it was your drinking half and, and now it's... Listen, listen, okay? If I needed a sermon, I will go to the church and pledge my devotion, okay? You know what? Maybe you really should do that. Stephanie. This is not good for you. Who knows, someday it might destroy you. Look, I'm really worried about you. Oh, you're worried about me? I am so touched. <laughs> Look, what are you trying I get it. Smokers are liable to die young. 
No. I don't want us to disappoint him. He relinquished those positions to us so we can prove ourselves. Oh. Listen. Just go to work. Okay, okay buddy? I can't believe you. Your mother told me about the young lady you brought with you. She says you've even proposed to her. I am glad that you have started considering marriage. It is a sign of responsibility. And I am very delighted to hear that the lady is from Izuku the neighboring village. I'm proud of you, sir. I am yet to set eyes on this lady that has caught my son's heart, so. But your mother has told me great things. She says you have the eyes of your father. <laughs> beauty. Your Highness, if beauty is the only criterion, to measure a good bride, I'm sure she is wrong. Uh, the son of a lion does not eat dead. <laughs> In the meantime, I hear that you have been taking her around the village. <laughs> My son, open affection is a sign of weakness. It is not a threat found in a strong lineage. You have found yourself a wife. All right. The rest is mine. Until I get back to you, I do not want you to tell any other person in this among that that girl is your fiancée. I'm so sorry I wasn't at the airport to welcome you. It's all right. Don't tell me you're still mad at me. Give me reasons why I shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Mm, because I love you. Winston, love is spontaneous, you know. It doesn't search for answers. But you do know I love you.
Don't ever stand me up again, okay? I promise I won't. I miss you, baby. I miss you too. Okay, let's get out of here before my father comes up. And what could the penalty be? You might get frustrated, you know. That's harsh, baby. Okay then, so why don't we go out of here and have fun? Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here before I lose my cool. <laughs> Oh, you have your car? Yeah. All right, then. I'll be right behind you. Sure. Let's go. All right. want to get to the village and see some of my relatives. That's true. And I think it's an opportunity for me to get to meet members of my extended family. Right? Since they're going to be my in-laws to be here. Yeah? Um, You're planning to go together? Yeah, sure. How long are you planning to stay there? Two days. Three days, max. Three days? Yeah. Is the king aware of this? Well, I thought it wise to talk to my mama first before going to see my father. <laughs> well, if the king approves of it, you don't have any problem with me. What did I tell you about mama? <laughs> did I say my mama was intelligent? <laughs> mama, mama, you good. <laughs> There's this emergency council meeting that he has to be present. 
Yeah, mom, she understands that there are times I won't have to be around, which is one of the prices she has to pay for being my woman. <laughs> I'm happy you understand, you see? You see, it's so much fun being a lola, you know? I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> she knows. She will know. Anyway, sweetie, uh, <laughs> this is my father's driver. My father instructed him to take you straight to the village, stay there and bring you back. And that is a privilege if you ask me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. And um, please help me tell his majesty that I am very grateful. Have a safe trip. Thank you. All right, you do cake. Help yourself, okay? Okay. I'll miss you. All right, just careful. I have been in love before, but it never felt like this. I want you more and more. Every time we touch you, every time we kiss. When I look into your eyes, always paradise. Please don't go away. Stay here with me. <laughs> Handwritten invitation letter from the governor. Mm. I bankrolled his election. I, I, I deserve that honor. Mm, wow, a party at a state house, that is awesome. I know. Uh, but quite unfortunately, I won't be going there. Why, Daddy? Why? Your mother. I am incomplete without your mother. Come on, Dad. Mom has been dead for years now. It doesn't change to anything. Well, there goes my red dress then. And there goes my red shoes. Yeah, well, oh, Dad, I think we have to be going to our rooms. All right, Dad. Seeing to we're not, you know, going anywhere. On a second thought, Well, since uh, you ladies have taken over the running of the company, I, I think both of you can uh, can go. Wow, Daddy, that is good news. Thank you. Oh, Daddy, that is awesome. Wow. That means we have to go look for what we're going to wear for this party. Yes. Yeah. Stephanie. Yes, Daddy. I understand you've not been going to the office for some time now. Why? Dad, I just saw the driver that took Edna to the village. And he told me you asked him not to return with her. Do you know the meaning of that name? It means one's wishes and one's destiny cannot converge. I feel to see where you're driving at that. Have you been tested by a very difficult situation? Can you stand the test? That's what makes you a man. What's going on? My son, you have to live the rest of your life without Edna. What? What? Is, is this some kind of joke? No, my son. She is a loose. Eh? A taboo. Your father is right. Still believe in such arcane tradition. Seven. No, 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 for Christ's sake, Dad! I thought civilization had handled all of that! So what if she's a Who cares? I don't I don't give a damn, Dad! My son, time and civilization cannot erase our tradition. Anosu cannot and will never be 
accepted in this kingdom. From the... I know you will find love again. Don't worry, he will get over her. We build, operate, and transfer with the federal government. In my meeting with the MD of the PHNC, an agreement was reached, and our American partners have agreed to build a power plant at no extra cost. So, what then would be our role? Everything. I mean, everything would be done through us because this company is not incorporated in Nigeria. Truth is, we don't stand to gain much money except prestige and government patronage, which is what the company needs more than anything at this moment. I think that's okay with us. From what I see, we have everything to gain and nothing to lose. in my own house, in my own country. I mean, the guards will even let me go. They say they are taking orders from the king. Yes, Charles. He doesn't want you to see her again. Mom, I am his son, not a prisoner. I have every right to mingle with whomever I want to mingle with. He cannot treat me like a prisoner in my own house. Charles, just bring your voice down. Please. God. Son, I understand how you feel right now. No, Mom, you don't. I, I do. No, no, Mom, you don't. Because if you did, you would have done something about this. Charles. Mom, Mom, please. Mom. Talk to him. Okay, there, there must be something you can do to convince him about this. Just no, 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 Charles. There's absolutely nothing I can do about this. That decision is final. I'm sorry.
Mommy Watson? What is going on here? Take her out, Samuel. Let her go. She doesn't belong here. Sam, oh, what is it? What is going on? What have I done? Mom. Sam, Mom. Sam. Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to us? Let her go. Take her away. No. Oh, Take her out of here! Someone tell them no! Someone I'm not giving you no! Someone no! Take her away! You need to go! You need to go. Some go. Some go. Some go. Some Come on! Some go. She's actually locked herself up in the room. I think she regrets her actions. Winnie. For years now, Stephanie wasn't like this. What has come over her? What has happened to her? To me in that tone, Samuel. You don't have a clue what you've done to me. We just did what was right. Right? Yes. <laughs> right! Mom, do you know what it means to be in love? I doubt it. Watch your tongue, Samuel. Oh, love is not something you just whisk away. For goodness sake, she's not the only woman in this world. You will always find love again. Did you ever love my father before marrying him? What sort of a Christian is that? Oh, he says it. You didn't! You probably learned on the job. You are one of those forced into marriage just because of some royalty shit. You probably psyched yourself up to being laid by him because you had no other choice than to bear him children. How dare you talk?
adjust to that. So my dear, what this means is that somewhere along the line, one of our ancestors had caused to run to a deity for protection or dedicated himself and his family to it. Thus, all succeeding generation of his now become an Usu, an outcast separated for the gods and forbidden from any relationship with the freeborn. I don't understand it. How can we now bear consequences for something we were not part of? And this is unjust. That is tradition. Tradition, my foot! I thought civilization has wiped out all that stuff. Civilization in Africa especially in this part is not enough to change tradition but auntie we can't allow this to continue someone has to stop it yes somebody has to stop it but who would they is it you or me <laughs> please my dear i beg you in the name of god you have to let whatever you feel for that young man to go. Just let it go. Okay? You don't understand how much I love him, Auntie. I know. I know that. But trust my judgment. You must let him go. You must. I rather die. No? I will not die, Auntie. You won't die, my dear. Now listen. The earlier you get used to this, the better. Because giving you any hope right now would be like postponing the doom days. I know it's cruel, but it's an age-long tradition, and it must remain. It must. <laughs> it's okay. I know how you feel. Hmm? You will get used to it. that has been there even before my forefathers we have no right to question it I've never seen him act the way he did he really loves that girl I know but it is beyond him and his feelings let's let's go to sleep Time will heal his pain.
you to go through it and let me know what you want to do about this, okay? I will just So I'm um, actually going to leave it right here and if you have any problems you can call me. I'll let me know. How does it feel to be his favorite? What? He has always preferred you to me. Seems wicked. I remember him telling mom on her sick bed how you reminded him of her. They try to pick up the fight with me. I'm not in the Oh, come on. You enjoy it. Admit it. You do. Would you stop it? God. Look, I put up with a lot of your trash in America. I wouldn't have to put up with it here in Nigeria. For once, I don't have to live my life trying to please you or trying to be your babysitter. And you know, the answer to that puzzle lies with the new girl. If you want to be his favorite, earn it. I didn't want my father to know about her condition either. So each time he would call, I would either tell him that she was at the library or the school. He doesn't even know she didn't graduate. It's okay, baby, please. I promise you everything is going to be fine. I really understand how you feel. Okay? If only she knew that I love her. If only she knew that I would do anything just to make her happy. God. I wish it so bad that things would go back to the way they were. Like when mom was alive. You know what, baby? He has refused to eat anything since yesterday. 
I think you have to talk to him before he does something stupid. I have sent for him. Are you very worried? What? Where are you going to? I'm leaving. You're leaving? For where? It doesn't matter. And how, how could you be leaving without telling me? I've been calling you for days and you're not taking your calls. Remember you and I promised each other we'll be together forever. Not anymore, Samuel. It's over. What? Samuel, I'm sorry. Okay, but from the way I see it, it's never going to work. In the eyes of your parents and the whole world, I'll always be an outcast. Please, just forget our path ever crossed. No, Edna, no, no. Come on, baby. That's not, we can fight through this. We can work it out. Listen, I love you. And I love you too. I love you. You know I love you. But this is for the best. Okay, let's just let it be. Please, let's, let's just... No, baby, 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 please. Please, <laughs> I beg of you, please. Just listen, baby, please don't go. We can work this thing through, please. Sam, please. Please, don't make this any harder than it is. I am feeling bad already, so just let it be. Just, just, just go. Okay, please. Baby, where are you going to? I'm going away. Where? <laughs> I'm leaving the country. But I won't tell you where, so don't bother looking for me because you will find me. Samuel, don't make this hard. Don't make this hard. I had to take first flight. 
to Nigeria and it was first class. Wow, first class? You mean both of you flew first class to Nigeria? Stop being a phony. On whose account? Okay, there's something going on here that you guys are not telling me. Hey, we're supposed to be buddies, so no secrets. Spill it out, both of you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. That was this white guy. He dropped $80,000. You're kidding. Oh my God, that is awesome. <laughs> Share. You need to tell me, yeah. Yeah. I need to have a share. What do I need? Your Highness, please sit down. The prince will soon come. Please. And in good health, too. Where have you been? We've all been very worried. Thank you all for coming. Our people say what an old man sees sitting down. A child may not see it even if he climbs a tree. I have gathered you here today, my trusted men from Amangu village, to give you a very important assignment. I want you to make a list of all the great families in Amau. Families of good value, families of strong lineage, families of men of valor, men who go to war and come back victorious. I want them to bring all their beautiful maidens to this palace in two weeks' time. Chadi Kobi, my son, the prince himself, is going to take a wife. Looks 
so gorgeous. Thank you. We can go now. Not so fast. Dad, I thought you were asleep. Not any longer. Good day, sir. Wednesday. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for a long time. Yes, actually, I've been out of town for a while now, so. It's good you're back. Thank you so much. Sir. So, where are you up to? To the cinema. Cinema? I should not keep you waiting long. All right, sir. Okay, dear. Let's go. Right. Enjoy yourself. Okay, dear. <laughs> Good day, sir. Lawyer Pamphrey. Sir. The one I wanted to call. Come, come, come. Okay. See you. Lawyer. Sir. I, I, I want, I think I, I want to rewrite my will. You see? when he said it. It was like deja vu. I could swear I saw it coming. Stanley, are you, are you listening to me? Genesis 48. What's that? Read the Bible. Oh, please. Don't go all spiritual with me. You know I'm not caught up for that. You should not learn to read the Bible, you know. Oh, really? So tell me, how much do you know about the Bible? I used to be a church boy, and I've not forgotten my Bible stories. Oh, okay. So, Genesis 48. Stanley? What? Genesis 48! Jacob put your friend before Manasseh. So? He gave the lie that was meant for the firstborn to the second. That's what I said. Samuel is nowhere to be found. What do you mean? He's gone. Oh, well, he should be somewhere. Maybe brooding over his lost love. He'll be back. I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? He packed his things. What? I have been in love before, but it never felt like this. I want you more and more. Every time we touch you, every time we Thanks. 
So, I mean, when you called me and asked me for my address, yeah. I thought it was one of your crazy jokes, you know? <laughs> Chris, it's man. so good to see you, Yeah, it's so good to see you too, man. <laughs> so, yeah, bro. so, I mean, um, tell me, how is everybody in the village? Perfect. Especially his royal highness. He's fine. <gasps> so, how long do you intend to stay? Oh, well, for a while. I'm trying to start life all over again. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Charles, <laughs> what's going on? Well, clearly I'm tired, okay? <laughs> we can talk about this some other time, right? Take your time, okay? Take your time. Meanwhile, I was hoping I could, you know, chill out here with you for a while until I get settled. Yeah, that's fine with me. It's cool. Hey, <laughs> thanks so much, bro. You're welcome. Anytime. So to see you again. Yeah, so welcome. Thanks a lot. You know, you sit right there. Let me take your things inside. Oh, really? Thanks. All right. All right. That's fine. <laughs> You're welcome, Charles. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> Make sure that this is well circulated. Okay, Dad. Oh, I am so sorry that I'm late. Oh. <laughs> you see, I'm used to that by now. So, what's the plan? Plan? Yeah, we're supposed to have plans for today's meeting. Well, plans have changed. What do you mean the plans have changed? You see, my dear, a good businessman always has a backup plan. There, there is a saying that without a plan B, there is no plan. Because I know how well you love to sleep, I have decided that she be in charge of anything that would disturb you from sleeping well. That means that uh, she takes the compensation too. Thank you, Tim. I'll be here now. Better go, my dear. <laughs> Is that so? My bright ivory, the fountain of my milk and honey, the woman that gives me endless joy. I hate to see you like this. I know he's, he's not anywhere around this, this village. Don't worry, he will come back home. Very comfortable wherever you are. 
I don't want to have to start going around looking for my parents anytime I need help. Whatever, Sammy, but you know, I think you should better let them know your whereabouts. Okay. Okay, so that they'll know, I mean, they'll, their minds will be at rest. Listen, forget about that, okay? I mean, what I want to do right now is do something good with this and make some money. Sammy, Sammy, you're not listening to me, are you? Uh, you should better let them know your whereabouts so that their mind will be at rest, Sammy. Okay, what do you intend? what I think you should do. Look, I was born to struggle, born to survive. But you, you were born with royalty. Everything at your fingertips. You could just go home and live in peace. Do you, know, do, you, do you know how many people that would want to be in your shoe? So tell me, why do you choose to tread this path? Perhaps it was meant to be, you know. Kuli, I'm going to have to look for a job. <laughs> a job? Sir, you've never served anyone in your life. You've never taken orders from anyone aside the king. So, how are you going to cope? Hey, there is always a first time. So you mean to tell me that you have to do your own account? Sir, it was the former manager. They didn't drop you, did not let you resign. Um, sorry, excuse me. Um, were you the one who took the order from the one? No, no. Is there any problem? Yes, there's a problem because I made an order for an hour, over an hour and I've been calling the restaurant and nobody's picking up the phone. I'm so sorry about that. I will say someone. Can you just send? Yeah, please. I need my food. I want to watch my phone. Excuse me. Listen, listen. There's a tomorrow morning. Run an advert for a new manager. Right? I'm going to tell you. Now, and 
he still has not called. No one has seen him either. The king's health is deteriorating and all the chiefs are beginning to ask questions. Your Highness. I called you here today to help me find my son. Get the best investigative officer who knows the terrain of this country. Ruben. Your Highness. I want you to get in touch with the immigration services. I want you to find my son wherever he is. Yes, my Highness. Your Highness, I promise you, I will do my best. Huh? And do it as discreet as possible. No problem. I don't want the whole village to know that we don't even know where the prince is. Okay. I promise you. I hope it's good enough. Excuse me. Please, can I speak to your manager? Madam, no, no, I hope there's no problem. Can I just talk to your manager, please? There he is. Oh. Hello, madam. The hello. I hope there's no problem. Oh, there's a lot of problem, and I need to talk to you about them. Uh, okay, please, can we talk about that in my office? No, just um, go and present us at the... Uh, we present us, yeah. Don't forget to come with the first light. Don't remember you're giving the people uh, in that conference. I will, Daddy. Wednesday. I'll have it prepared by weekend. Wednesday, take care of her. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Have a safe trip. Uh, uh, Dad, can I get you a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ambush well. How was I to know it was her fiancé? Oh, please. Rubbish. This is total rubbish. Listen, guys. I need my sister out of the way before my father changes his will. You know what? I need a lighter to light my sister. Why is everybody out of big clothes for me? You're not going to say anything, Stanley. Hell no, because I warned you from the onset that I better ways of handling things than staging a stupid ass them, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, that is all you have to say for now, right? You know, you guys are just a bunch of useless. What? Yes, yes, you're useless to me. Come on, girl. Let's think about something else. Oh, what possible plan can you ever think of? Ah, excuse me. After all, I'm not the one who wants to murder my sister.
this coffee. I'm so hungry. Please do be more careful next time. But no thanks, I'll manage. Do have a lovely day. Oh, um, excuse me. Yes? For returning my purse, seriously, I really want to say thank you. So why don't we do lunch? Lunch? You're not gonna turn that down either, are you?
Carol is going to give me out. Ooh, so finally we get to meet the mystery man. Mm -hmm. So, how do I look? Not bad. Oh, that must be him. Hotel manager. Yes, we meet again, ma'am. We meet again. Do you know him? Well, let's say that he attends to me anytime I go to see Stanley at the hotel. She's right. Uh, she's a regular customer at the hotel. Okay. Well then, since you guys know each other, there'll be no need for any introduction. Oh, oh yeah. Samuel, do you still wait tables at the hotel? Excuse me? I thought you said he was a manager. Oh, oops. My bad. <laughs> Samuel, I'm really sorry. She struggles sometimes. That's what we have to go through every time. Yeah, I understand. We're used to issues like this at the hotel. I can imagine. <laughs> oh, hey, Dad. Hey. Good. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Samuel, my son. What? Please, please, please. Sit down, sit down. How are you doing, sir? Very fine. Good. Oh, Dad, I mean, you, you, you barely even know the guy. You see, it doesn't matter. He's killed it through the interview. Oh, please! Just because it's Winnie's boyfriend doesn't mean he has to work for the company. What are you trying to say, Steph? What I'm trying to say is that he has to stop involving your boyfriend's now official affairs. You don't even know the guy. He's a bloody hotel manager. That doesn't matter. You will leave him alone. He gets the job. Oh my god, Daddy, he has no qualification whatsoever! Please! He will land on the job just like you did! What are you doing? I'm closing for the day. And who told you you're done for the day? Anyway, go through the spies, duplicate them and put them in their right places before 8 a.m. tomorrow. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry, but this is not my job. Well, it is, right now. I want to remind you that this is not a hotel and you're not a manager. I give the orders around here. Just the woman I want to see. Hey. Are you done? No, doing the boss's job. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I have stuff to do here, so I'll just get finished. Except you want to stay here with me. No, sweetie, I'm sorry. I can't stay here until Hey, this. come on. I promise you, I'll make sure you get home safe. No, baby, it's it's not that. It's just that staying here till late brings old memories back. Uh, okay. 
Okay. You can always go. It's okay. Winston, he used to stay here with me till late until his car accident. The police actually think it wasn't a car accident, but it was a murder case. My father wants us to look into the case, but Stephanie and I think looking into it would be like opening up old wounds. my mother. Since you left, she hasn't been fine. You must be present for the burial of the king. This can't be true. Dad, what other proof do you need? This is his signature, isn't it? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know, Dad. They haven't seen him all day. Oh, yeah. Thank God you're here. Where is your boyfriend? What is it? Where is he? Dad, he... He lost his father, so he had to go to the village. Oh my god, Dad. He's on the run! Stephanie, what is going on here? Well, what is going on is the fact that your boyfriend has been staying from us. What? No. Can, can somebody get me tablets for my headache? Oh, sure, Dad. I'll do that.
so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm the one who is sorry. I don't know. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if that boy Samuel has deceived her into running away with him, you know. Samuel. Samuel. Look, if I don't see them by tomorrow, I am going to call the security officials to fish them out. And that boy Samuel will be sorry he ever knew. I swore never to have anything to do with my parents again. So I left my home and I left my family, forgetting that there was no place like home. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But honey, if you didn't sign that document, then who did? And who, who would want to do a thing like that to you? I don't know. I just don't know. My father's burial is tomorrow. And um, after that, I'm supposed to be crowned king. But before then, I'll take permission to go to the city and clear myself with the police. I'm beginning to have children. Do you think I have something to do with this? No, no, Fidi, no. I, I don't know. Why would I think you had anything to do with it? I'm just really scared because whoever did that to you must be very dangerous. Because the signature is indeed yours. <sighs> Winnie. A clear conscience fears no harm.
Her Majesty, some policemen just came here and arrested the prince. Where did they take him to? The, the headquarters, Her Majesty. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Let's go. Thing up, didn't you? Well, your game is over. Why don't you tell them what you did? What happened to Winston? What? Winston? What do you know about Winston's death? Perhaps your sister Stephanie can tell us. Oh, Winnie, please just don't listen to him. This is just a cheap black male. Take him out of here. I was there that night at the bar. What are you talking about? You didn't see me, but I heard what you said. What nonsense are you, you talking about? It should have been Winnie that died, but instead Winston got killed. Oh, what nonsense! Yes, you left the two of them at the bar. And you know what? Stanley forgot his passport. Oh, oh, please, that is no problem. Take him out. What are you waiting for? Take him out. What nonsense is he talking about?
your love